Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning. Um, I'm off today. I don't really have any like uh, major plans. I had a plan to go hiking tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain, so I'm not quite sure. So anyways, um, I just brushed my teeth. I just woke up. So I wanted to show you which skincare like I like to use in the morning. And I actually have been really liking these couple of items. And um, when it's summertime, because I have really oily skin, I don't like to use any heavy creams. So I found these two serum type things. So this is Dermaputics Hyaluronic Lift and I've, I showed it in my favorites I think um, last time I did favorites and this is made cool pro sauce and it's funny both both of these I found at TJ Maxx very affordable this I think was seven something and this is like <laughs> 5 dollars or something like that and I already bought a backup because I don't know if you can see but I'm almost out of it I really love this. I use this every single day. Uh, and I'm going to use this today. So, I mean, I'm not very, like, cheap with it. I just put a plug in my hands. Always warm it up in the palms of my hands. And just apply it to my face. And whatever is left on my neck. And just... Um, Usually I apply a lot of skincare to my neck and chest area at um, at night when I go to sleep. It sinks right in. It's very, it's a bit sticky in the beginning, but after a couple of minutes, you really don't feel it on your skin. And uh, for eye cream, I'm using this ret retinol eye lift serum. I also found it at TJ Maxx. I really like that. But then I couldn't really find find it online and. Last time I went, I got backups for both because they had them in stock. So check out your local TJ Maxx, you'd be surprised. And this it has a consistency of a gel. I really, really like it. I, um, It sinks right in, it's not sticky, not weird, just really, really like it. And I just put it all over. And I put a lot. <laughs> a lot because you noticed I started noticing hey people I started noticing because I sometimes I try never to sleep on my side because when I was in college like my friend would always tell me that I would get wrinkles you know if you sleep like this your body kind of uh, starts your skin starts creasing but sometimes I like to sleep on on the side and just this side very rarely and I noticed that like this eye comes down further like the crease here than here so I think it's from sleeping on the side. So when I do my wing, you can really tell. That's done. I'm not going to do, it's already like really absorbed. I'm not going to do anything else for my skin. For the summertime, I like it. If I want to pile something else on, I'll do it in the evening. But for now, uh, I'm done. Let's go get some breakfast. I think I decided I'm going to make banana oat pancake things. Um, I haven't really had major success with them, but they come up somewhat pancake key so oh and when i was browsing my drawers i found another ingredient that you can add to your smoothies it's like super fruit whatever flax seeds and um i just ground my flax seed because i'm going to use it as an egg replacer although i have eggs so i could put one technically um but flax super good um my drawers here are very inconvenient so i can never see like what i have but like I have a bunch of like stuff. I even found like some organic raw cacao powder or some stuff. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Some raw coconut butter and coconut oil. I'm gonna use that. I don't I don't know the measurements, so I'm just gonna stick it in there and hope for the best. And even if it comes out crappy, you know, I'll, I'll still have it. It's gonna be okay. Like it's not it's it's not gonna taste terrible. So, so far I have two tablespoons of flax seeds. I just ground it up. I'm gonna put some rolled oats, a couple of bananas, tablespoon of this, tablespoon of this, give it a whirl, keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully it comes out decent. Maybe I'll also put some chia, maybe not. Okay, I'll come back and show you the final product, but these are the ingredients. Okay, this is the finished product. Um, I put some, um, cocoa powder so that's why they're a bit darker in color but uh i tried one and to be completely honest they look better than they taste that's why you should probably stick to a recipe but um 
but yeah i uh but yeah so i'm gonna have that and, and you know in like with these types of recipes like it's impossible to to kind of really majorly mess it up uh and it satisfies the craving for something unhealthy so that's why i, I honestly prefer to stick to smoothies because can mess that up there's no cooking time you just plop it in taste it and whatever so i'm gonna have that and i'm gonna skype with my fam and we'll see what we, we get we'll get up to later in the day okay bye guys i take it back i put some of this raw coconut butter and i put some honey this is really good actually i have a couple left um if you stack them up and just like i already had half of it because when I tried it on its own, it was whatever, but like with berries, honey, it's actually really delicious. So I'm gonna go and enjoy that. Oh, what a surprise. I guess I can't cook after all. <laughs> hey guys, it's lunchtime and it's funny. I was opening a can of black beans and he knows like the sound of me opening a can. So he's here demanding food. I'm out. <laughs> Give up. <clears throat> Give up. Anyway, so lunchtime, I wanted some avocado toast, but then last minute changes, I figured I haven't had any like really green, nice salads in a while. So I'm making one. Let me show you. So this bowl is giant. I don't know if you see, but when I make a green salad, I like for it, for it to be big so that I can put like a lot of greens in there. And I started making guac and I made my favorite version of guac. I always put... Um, I hate measuring ingredients. I'll just usually put whatever I want. So here I have some uh, one avocado, some cilantro, tomato, red onion, some freshly ground chipotle pepper. I just got some chipotles. Uh, I didn't have lime, so I put lemon, uh, lemon juice, and salt and pepper. Yeah, it's really delicious. So and here I have uh, half a head of lettuce and some black beans. And I'm just gonna add this on top. Um, I have the sad little piece of tomato, uh, sorry, cucumber that I think I'm also going to add. And I toasted some bread because I wanted to put this on bread first, but changed my mind halfway through. So we'll see how it goes. Let me assemble it, I'll be back. Voila! <clears throat> I sprinkled a bit more chipotle powder. And I have to say, if you never tried chipotle powder in your guac, you're missing out big time. It's amazing gigantic bowl of salad but um it looks amazing so and i know i always make this salad i put black beans this this time but i don't usually use black beans i'll just use whatever lettuces i have and this guacamole concoction and it's always amazing it's one of my favorites okay see you later charlie chucha hmm. you want to leave me I've never come back. It's that hallway. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> back home. Not a happy cat. What? Last time we watched him was like years ago, literally maybe two, three years ago. We don't really he Yeah. You don't think so? A year ago. year ago? I don't know. I think it was more than that because we definitely didn't watch him when we were in this apartment and it's been a year. So he is very traumatized at the moment. But he's... Yeah, he was a good boy. I think if there is no running water, he's actually fine. Like we just filled the tub with some water. But he really needed a wash. Like he really... He was starting to stink. So <laughs> I tried to push it as much as I could, but it was time. Sorry, baby. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. <laughs> hey guys, I thought I'd pop in. We're about to head out, but I thought I wanted to show you what I'm wearing because I really, I really like it. It's very comfy and super easy. No makeup today. <laughs> so we're about to, so we're about to head to Costco to do some food shopping, and I wore, I've been wearing this outfit. It's my second time wearing it. I really like it. It's my old. Uh, faux leather jacket that I really like. It's a bit chilly. This Madewell top I got at Nordstrom Rack. I think it was very, very inexpensive. Um, some jewelry, just some layering pieces. This one is from TJ Maxx I got a while back, and this one is from Anthropology. 
trusty Ray-Bans and these Zara pants and these are um, Rachel, Ro Rachel Royce, I don't remember but like you can find a pretty generic style but they're like so comfy, I really like them and I got this bag, it's by Sanctuary, I really like it, it has like Chloe vibe um, it's very roomy and very comfy and I wanted white for summer but you know, I didn't want to cash out on an expensive one I'm sorry about the noise, there's laundry and Andy decided to pack some plastic bags by the sound of it so we'll have to deal with it um, yeah so this is it super comfy and we went out for dinner yesterday I wore this it's very um, easy and you know you have some layers in case you get warm you can always take them off uh, no makeup but I'm wearing this Tom Ford uh, what is this lip balm in L'Odyssea number 10 it's very beautiful corally color and very nice with lips okay guys bye okay Hey guys, I am back. Um, we successfully went to Costco and came oh, came back. Um, and we're heading out to dinner. We're picking up a friend and we're gonna drive to Brooklyn to our old stomping grounds and we're gonna um, go to one of our favorite restaurants. It's just like such a, such a good time, you know, every time. Uh, I feel like half of my feeling already fell out. So I'm really struggling. I'm not trying not to touch it, but I keep like, checking it out with my tongue just to see that it's still there and I feel like that like that's eating away at it but anyways next week I'm going to see the doctor to put a permanent one so where where am I going with this <clears throat> not sure okay let let let's see what what's happening today okay the lighting is you know whatever but we're moving so hopefully that apartment is a bit lighter and positioned differently so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to have a mirror somewhere in a brighter spot it's actually the same jewelry I was wearing yesterday and I'm obsessed with these like very easy tees you know I don't, I'm not even sure which one this is what the brand is but I got a I think this is Vince it's so soft like I got a bunch of them I was at Nordstrom Rack and they had a rack with a lot of them so I got two white ones and a stripy one I just love it and I paired it with this laundry blazer that I absolutely love this is the one I did a blog post on that I recently got I just like it's so effortless very chic like goes with anything I wear this to work as well but I'm wearing it today. Uh, I paired it with a few like red accents. I have these cute BCBG pumps that I've had for ages. I don't wear them a lot, but every once in a while. This, yeah, I don't know, black denim. I think this is a J brand, but anything. And I realized that high waisted denim is life. <laughs> so, and this red product, actually my latest like designer bag purchase, maybe. Um, yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Can you see? It's lovely. I, I'm just in love with it. It's like it's it's a little camera bag, but I wanted a red bag for a while and this one I saw it and it's just so pretty. It has this really cool piece. Can you see? On the shoulder that goes over your shoulder. The chain is beautiful. The bag is lovely. And I'm the makeup is, you know, I was actually talking about it, <laughs> talking about it in my head. <laughs> I was thinking about it, you know, with all these trends where you like put a bunch of stuff in your crease and you blend it out and whatever. Sometimes like when I do that, I feel like it's too try hard and I don't feel as comfortable. So I just do very like bare, like kind of very bare face makeup but I think it looks lovely I think it looks better in real life because it looks a little washed out um, and it's like I feel like the purpose of makeup is to enhance your features and make you feel more comfortable in your skin and that's exactly what this makeup does like I think I just look fresh and I just feel pretty and to me that's the most important thing um, also update we did wash the cat today and we don't wash them often last time we washed them was ages ago maybe like two years ago but every once in a while like i feel like he just he was feeling a little yucky <laughs> we plumped him into the shower and gave him a little rinse very gently he was a really good boy i have to say but he's been really quiet because i feel like it was a bit traumatic for him um 
yeah what else is up we're running late i have to pick up um a friend here in astoria uh i feel a little unsettled you know with the move i just i feel like i just want it to be done i want us to be settled in a new place and kind of that's that uh when we move my commute will be longer so even though we live close to the city because i work in jersey i have to oh <laughs> it's gonna be um uh, at least an hour and 20 minutes i think so i'm really not looking forward to that i don't know what i'm gonna do about it but we'll see okay you guys i have to run and just downstairs waiting oh, i'm wearing my bracelet i really like it it's really cute by monica vinegar um what else that's it for now see you later bye